Chapter 2 Images, Links and Frames in HTML5 Learning Objectives Inserting Images The IMG Tag Linking Web Pages The Anchor A Tag CSS and Links Links as Buttons Images as Links Audio and Video Frames Introduction you have already learnt about different types of lists and their properties in previous chapter. Apart from that, we also discussed how to present data in a tabular format. Here, we will learn about other important elements of a web page like images, anchor element, links, frames, etc. Inserting images Apart from text, you can show graphics, drawings, paintings, charts, maps or photographs on a web page. These elements make the web page more informative and appealing. Images can be applied as a navigational tool to enable users browse through the internet. Web browsers support different graphic formats. The broadly used formats are GIF, .png and JPEG formats. Images are of two types. Inline and external image. The inline image is appeared when the web page is opened and is placed within a line of text, whereas external images are appeared automatically with other content on the web page. Instead, they are referenced externally and viewed separately by clicking on a link. To add an inline image, the IMG tag is applied, whereas to insert an external image, the anchor tag A is applied that establishes a link to the image. The IMG tag The IMG tag is applied to add images in an HTML web page. It is an empty tag and needs different features to be defined with it. These features for the IMG tag indicate the browser how to lay out the pages so that text can flow appropriately around the image. Defining the source of an image To add and specify the source of an image on a web page, the src attribute is used. Syntax IMG src is equal to address or path of the image file. While defining the image file, one should be well aware of its location, that is, where the file is stored in the system. Defining height and width for an image the height feature defines height for an image either in the form of pixels, integer or a percentage value. The width feature defines width for an image either in the form of pixels, integer or a percentage value. Aligning image To align an image to the right or left of a text, use the CSS property float. Example P IMG src is equal to imag1.jpg style is equal to float right width 50 pixel height 50 pixel image will be displayed to the right of the text oblique p fact file the value for the alt feature is a text string of up to 1024 characters and closed in quotation marks if you add spaces or other punctuation. Alt feature. Many times a browser on the user's computer does not show images due to some reasons. Maybe because of slow connection or error in the src attribute. In that case, you can display the text to give a description about the alt attribute which allows you to define the text as an alternate to the image. It is usually applied when the user is having a text-based browser on his computer like links. Linking web pages A website comprises a number of web pages that provides you access to related information. HTML gives a powerful feature of linking these web pages together. This feature is called hyperlinking. Applying these hyperlinks, one can open any linked web page on the internet instantly. When you place the mouse pointer over a link, it will turn into a little hand. Types of linking Internal linking External linking 
Internal linking When one part of a web page is linked to another part on the same page, it is called internal linking. External linking When one page is linked to another web page or website, it is called external linking. The anchor A tag in HTML, the anchor A is applied to mark the text as a hyperlink, which a user can click to show the document anchored to it. Having a container tag, it needs closing tag, oblique A to mark the end of the text or image. You can apply hyperlinks in the following ways. To move from one section to another within the same web page. To link to another page within the same website to link to another page or website anywhere in the world. href attribute href is an attribute of a anchor tag which specifies the document to which the link leads. Syntax a href is equal to value click here oblique a where value is equal to absolute URL it indicates to another website such as a href is equal to http www.google.com Relative URL it indicates to a file within a website such as a href is equal to click.html Link to an email address such as a href is equal to mail to info at the rate kips.in Type the following code and save the file with the name click.html. Now type the following program code in a new file and save the file with the name link.html. When you open a web page, link.html and click on link, click here. It will take you to another web page with the name click.html. CSS and links. CSS affects the link differently depending on the condition they are in. We can divide link conditions in four categories. A. Link. A normal, unvisited link. A. Visited. A link the user has visited. A. Hover. A link when the user brings the mouse over it. A. Active. A link the moment it is clicked. Let us use these link conditions links as buttons we can also show links as buttons applying css styling the following example illustrates the same images as links an image can also be applied as a hyperlink to another document let us see an example type the following html code in the file image.html Now enter the following HTML code and specify the link for image.html file. When user clicks on this image, a page, image.html appears. Audio and video. So far we have discussed different tags which allow us in upgrading the look of our web page. Here we will discuss the tags with which we will be able to include multimedia in our web page and make it come alive. Multimedia means multiple mediums, the ability to add bits of sound and moving pictures to the web page. Inserting audio. HTML5 specifies a new tag, audio tag, that defines a standard way to place an audio file in a web page. It can be used for any file format like MP3, OGG, WAV, etc. The attributes of audio tag are given in the following table. Attribute Purpose SRC Defines the URL of the audio file Controls Shows the controls on the web page Autoplay Plays the audio file automatically when the web page is loaded Loop Replays the audio file Placing video We can place video files in our HTML pages with the help of video tag Supported file formats include MP4, WebM, OGG. Attributes associated with the video tag are given on next page. Attribute Purpose SRC 
defines the URL of the video file. Controls shows the controls on the web page. Autoplay plays the audio file automatically when the web page is loaded. Height defines the height of the video player displayed. Width defines the width of the video player displayed. Frames Frames are a way of organizing your website. They allow the user to divide a page into number of rectangular segments for various purposes. Frames enable multiple HTML documents to be placed as independent window within one browser window. This gives greater flexibility to design and maintain your site than simply dumping everything onto one page. Frames make your site interesting as you can incorporate the site theme, image, logo, banners, etc. The navigation menu in frames is not to be downloaded each time when you visit a new page. Only you have to change the contents of the page. Creating frame In HTML5, frames can be created using iframe, inline frame, tag and inline frame is a new HTML document placed inside the current HTML document. The attributes of iframe tag are SRC. With the help of this attribute, we define the path of the document that should be displayed in the inline frame. Syntax iframe SRC is equal to value, where value is equal to path of the document. Height and width. With these attributes, we can control the size of the inline frames. Syntax Width is equal to value in pixels. Height is equal to value in pixels. Let us use the inline frames in our HTML document. Quick Backup Web browsers support different graphic formats, but the broadly used formats are GIF, PNG, and JPEG formats. There are two types of image, inline image and external image. The inline image is appeared when the web page is opened and is placed within a line of text whereas an external image are displayed automatically with other content on the web page. An inline image is placed applying the IMG tag whereas to insert an external image, the anchor tag A is applied that establishes a link to the image. When one part of a web page is linked to another part of the same page, it is called internal linking, whereas when one page is linked to another web page or website, it is called external linking. In HTML, the anchor tag A is applied to mark the text as a hyperlink, which a user can click to show the document anchored to it. We can insert audio and video files in an HTML document by applying audio and video tags respectively. Frames enable multiple HTML documents to be placed as independent window within one browser window.